Hey guys, Dub, it's Ashley. And Taylor, and welcome back to Twin Coast. For today's video, we have three really awesome soup recipes for you guys, and we are so excited to show you guys these. It's getting colder here in Vancouver, and the rainy season is in full effect, so we're spending a ton more time inside, sitting by our fire, making our favorite comfort foods. And also downloading really cool games like Best Fiends, and thank you to Best Fiends for sponsoring today's video. Best Fiends is a puzzle adventure game where you can solve thousands of puzzles, and you can collect really cute characters called fiends. Best Fiends is a great way to wind down after a busy day. It takes our minds off of all the things from the day and we can de-stress while still challenging our brains. Not to mention you don't need Wi-Fi to play. Hello, long flights, because this is gonna be a total lifesaver. I'm already on level 63 and I love how challenging this game is. Taylor and I are able to play against each other, which makes this game so much fun. We started playing Best Fiends because we were waiting for our food to finish cooking in the oven. You guys don't really see it, but there is a lot of waiting around between like different recipes and everything. So this is just us making a YouTube video and we find that Best Fiends is a great way to continue challenging ourselves and pastime. Download the game for free using our link below to get $5 worth of gold and energy for free if you beat level five. And remember, it's like friends, but without the R. Best Fiends. The first soup that we're gonna make is probably pretty obvious by all these mushrooms in front of me, but we're gonna make a vegan mushroom wild rice soup. First, we're gonna start off by prepping all of our veggies. You're gonna want a variety of mushrooms, a white onion, and then some parsley. our videos for a while you know that I'm always the one cutting up onions and I always cry so we got some tips and apparently if you don't cut off like the belly button of the onion it's supposed to not make you cry so let's see if it actually works okay I cannot believe this worked for me like I cry every single time I cut enough an onion so keep the belly button on your onion and try it at home and tag us and let's see if it works for you So when we use any kind of herbs like cilantro, parsley, we always make sure that we actually keep the stems on. They have a ton of nutrients and actually give a lot more flavor. And then another trick that we do is we roll our parsley or whatever you're using into kind of like a roll and it's way easier to chop it. We're going to be making a tomato soup with some fresh basil, garlic, and this is super easy, so let's get right into it. First, we're going to start by cutting up our veggies and roasting them. This garlic is pretty funny looking. Look at that. All of our veggies now we're just going to lay them on our parchment paper with a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper and we're going to bake them for 30 35 minutes at 425. our dairy-free broccoli and cheese soup. So this is actually made without any cheese. Now we're gonna get started by cutting up our veggies. You're gonna need half a shallot, 
about three stalks of celery, and then a bunch of broccoli, of course. Now we're gonna cook our shallot and our celery on medium heat until it's all softened. Now that we have our broccoli and our vegetable broth cooking on the stove, we're gonna add all these ingredients into the blender and we're gonna make the cheesy part of our broccoli and cheese. So we have some cashews that we've soaked, we have some nutritional yeast, some almond milk, and then we have our celery and shallots. And we're just gonna add it all into our blender. 